problem in the housing world? Water. That's right, water. This is Fred Gleck with today's Real Estate Minute. If you've uh, been around for the last oh, five or six years and awake, you've probably known that housing prices have gone up, down, back up again, all around. There's been regulations left, right, and center changing everything in the entire process from the mortgage rates going higher because of what they call G fees, not G strings, and the more real estate situation being a little less fluid because of uh, regulations that have been put in. Well, we're about to come to a new problem and it has to do with the wet, wet water. What am I talking about? I'm talking about floods, the catastrophes that happened with Katrina and every water event that caused damage after that have made the federal flood insurance fund go down to nothing. So um, Congresswoman Judith Diggert of West Virginia helped pass a bill that tried to fix the flood insurance uh, fund. What happened was, the unintended consequence, as they would say, is that the uh, flood insurance for most people, where it would be, say, 400, 450 a month, uh, I'm sorry, a year, 450 a year, has now gone to about $10,000 a year for flood insurance. And we're not talking about just the beaches in New Jersey or in Florida, but how about if you have a little bit of a stream in your house somewhere in the middle of Pennsylvania? If it's an underground stream and it could possibly rise because of the flood maps, guess what, dude? You're paying 10 grand. Or in other words, you're not buying that house. Or in other words, the value of that house has just dropped by about, oh, half. So we're about to get into this crisis. People are going to start freaking out when they see these numbers. Real estate agents, most of them don't even know what's going on. But uh, we have to change this. And I would call your congressperson. I would say, dude. Well, you don't want to call him dude. But congressman, congresswoman, please fix this. There's got to be another way to get the flood insurance system to be solvent, but without doing it on the backs of people who can't afford it. So this is the Real Estate Minute today. I'm Fred Glick. Thanks for listening.